On to the next award category, International Education and Training. Now, this award is for outstanding international success or learner student experience in the field of education and training services. Expertise and curriculum, including vocational training. To present this award, please welcome Acting Secretary of the Australian Government Department of Education, Tony Cook, PSA. Thanks, Koshi, and good evening, everyone. I'm delighted, absolutely, to be here uh, tonight to present this International Education and Training Award. The international education sector has had a tough couple of years, as you would appreciate, uh, with significant disruptions to international student arrivals. But as Minister Farrell said earlier tonight, we are seeing very pleasing signs of recovery with the international student commencements in Australia commencing by about 25 per cent compared to this time last year. Can I thank all the international education and training providers all around Australia for their resilience, for their perseverance and for their creativity in terms of what they've done over the last several years. And so let's see who are the finalists for the International Education and Training Award. Alana K College. John Paul International College. Stanley College. UOW Global Enterprises. And I'm delighted to announce that the International Education and Training Award goes to Stanley College. Here we are. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is a great acknowledgement for Stanley College, the highest award we ever received. And it's a testament to our staff working relentlessly. The last two years have been very, very tough, but with the support of the government and especially the state government, we have been able to travel, to go out, we've been to Berlin, to Vietnam, to the Philippines, to India, Bhutan, Nepal, uh, giving the good news to our agents, which are our lifeline for Stanley College to bring international students back to beautiful Australia. Australia has always been among the top three study destinations um, in the world. And I think if we get this right now, we'll be number one. I'm confident with that. We are investing in further expansion, a new campus for hospitality. We are applying to the Australian Nursing and Midwifery Board for a diploma of uh, nursing. And we are adding new bachelor degrees to our, of course, offering. We are also, during COVID, we have pivoted and we have um, targeted more local students. We have been very proud to get 60 apprenticeships and traineeships going for us. And we have welcomed our first Aboriginal students to Stanley College. We are very proud. Thank you very much. Thank you. 